Hi, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome to my channel. Let's talk today about making a adjustable ring. It's also called the magic ring or the slip ring or um, so adjustable ring, slip ring, and magic ring are like three of the ways that I've heard this called. And basically this is how I start off many of my motifs that, that start or squares that start from the middle and go out. So you can use this for hexagons, octagons, squares, whatever. And this is how I do it. I take the cut end of the yarn and I am right-handed. So I wind it up across my palm, across my two fingers, all the way around twice. Then I hold it with my thumb like this and I grab the hook and I pull the one that's closest to my palm over here, the farthest one away, underneath the one that's closer. And then you chain one to secure it. Okay, and I'll keep going and then I'll show it again. So now I have what looks like this. I'm gonna gently hold it and pull the cut end to tighten that ring a little bit. I'm even gonna take that cut end and weave it around again so it's just held up here. So now I have this, okay? So now you can just start working as normal. So if you were doing a traditional granny square, you would chain a couple, one or two or three, depending on your preference, and you would double crochet in the ring. Okay, and I'm gonna do a couple and then I will show you how you can tighten it up by pulling that cut tail. So the traditional double crochet granny square is three double crochets in the ring and then a chain three and three more double crochets. This hook feels a little too small for what I was doing. I think I grabbed the wrong one, but it's okay. It's okay, it's only yarn, one, two, three for the corner. Do you see how it's going? And so once I get all of the um, double crochets in the ring, I will tighten up the loop. So let's assume that we are done and this is what we're doing. So I would take the cut tail and I would pull it tight and it tightens up the hole so that the hole virtually disappears and you can make that as tight as you want. Now it will come back open again if you were to work with it. See how it opened back up again? So after you've tightened it up and finished your piece, then you'll weave that tail in and that'll keep that, that center hole from opening up again. So let me cut that and I'll show you again how to do it. Oops, sorry about banging the camera there. So we're talking about an adjustable ring or a slip ring or a magic ring. And so this is how I do it. So I have the cut end and go over your fingers twice so that the cut end is now down here by your thumb and uh, ring finger. And I hold it snug there. Grab the one that's furthest away. I'm gonna grab my bigger hook. The furthest away and pull up a loop and then chain one to secure it. And then I go ahead and pull it snug almost immediately so that it's not a huge gaping hole. However, if you know you're gonna put 30 stitches in there, then you want the hole to be bigger, right? So also you can work any type of stitch. So let's work a cluster in here now. You can work any type of stitch in that ring. So here's a cluster. And so you can see here, also you can pull one tighter and then the other. Okay, you can have it be as tight as you want. If you want it really loose while you're working so that you can find that hole, just loosen it up a little bit. One, two, three, to make a corner. Let's double crochet cluster again. You can keep the loop nice and big until you're ready to tighten it up if you want. Or you can tighten it up right away. So this is um, just a great way to make um, the start of a motif or something that works in rounds. This is terrific for hats. This is terrific for amigurumi also because you want that hole to just close up and disappear many times with those types of projects. Let me finish this one little cluster here and then we'll tighten it up. So that is the magic ring. I wanna say a shout out to subscribers Eliana M. Barbara G, Pamela C, and Lorinda M. Thank you so much for subscribing. Give you a shout out and tell you thank you. Appreciate it very much. 
Please like, subscribe, comment, and read all the juicy bits in the description below. And uh, stay tuned for more videos, tutorials, giveaways, live streams, unboxings, and swatchings. Take care. Bye.